hello and welcome to the Thursday edition of the DC Today. It has been um, an odd day in markets in the sense that it looks really boring. The Dow was dead flat. I think it was down 10 points. The S&P was down 12 basis points, not much. NASDAQ down 13 basis points. The 10-year bond yield was dead flat, which is really why stocks were flat. I, actually, I think it was down one basis point, which, which pushed bonds up a tiny, tiny bit. Oil was down another one and a something percent. The Dow intraday was down 225 points, um, but the chart looked real, real bad. Like it had dropped a lot and came all the way back. But you know, with the kind of volatility we've been having, 225 is still not much. Consumer staples were almost all of the downside. Real estate was the biggest gainer today. Um, it feels like we're near a, a washout of capitulation. Some of the consumer staples. We were in the market actively today on that front. So you do have um, just kind of a very similar story. It's getting to be a broken record. It's going to stay. So I, I don't mind just repeating it every day. But I'll, I beg your pardon if it's annoying. Uh, the dollar, bond yields, and then inversely stocks. Those are three different things, but it's really all one thing. Right now, bond yields up, dollar up, stocks down is one monolithic experience, or bond yields down, dollar down, stocks up. That's pretty much where we are. There's not going to be a lot of daylight for a little while, in my opinion, between the dollar and bond yields and between dollar bond yields and, and, and the inverse uh, movement of equities. And when that changes, it will change. And when it changes, it will change probably quickly and probably dramatically if history is any guide. But timing that change is very difficult. Uh, that's the state of markets right now. Mary Daly, San Francisco Fed head today, gave a speech and basically said, hey, even though we don't raise rates anymore, you know, just by staying higher, that's a form of tightening, which I appreciated her reading straight out of the D.C. today. Uh, f but yes, that, I think that, that you're going to hear more central bankers sharing that obvious uh, takeaway um, in the months ahead, which I think is where they'll be. And that we'll get out of a debate of a 20 to 40 percent chance of additional rate hike and other governors continuing to say we might need one or two more hikes when they're so painfully over overly restrictive already. And I think uh, I think that what you'll end up seeing is that the, I think what you'll end up seeing is that the conversation will move to um, how long they'll be high. Uh, that will become the new tightening controversy. We're more or less there now, but I think that's going to be the, the total conversation without the continued overhang about um, additional rate hikes. That'd be my take as we get ready to you know, proceed through Q4 and go, go a, in a couple of months out into Q1 of next year. Um, there's an Ask David. There were a couple data, uh, data points also covered in the dctoday.com. I can do them real quickly now. The trade deficit did come in a little bit lower than expected last month. I don't ever care about the difference between imports and exports. I care about the totality of imports and exports. Total trade was up a little from last month, but it's still down about 3.4% versus a year ago. Total trade is a much better economic indicator than the delta between imports and exports. Um, in our case, of course, we generally uh, uh, import more than we export, uh, hence the definition of a trade deficit. That's all I got. Um, I, I'm excited for Dividend Cafe tomorrow. I'll leave you in suspense uh, about the topic. I've started to kind of formulate my thoughts on it, but it isn't written yet, and yet uh, I have a kind of a good idea where I want to go with it. Heavy stuff going on, lots on our mind, but you have plenty on your mind too. Feel free to reach out with questions. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for reading the DC Today. Mm -hmm.